Hello and welcome to the Gay Dolphin here in Myrtle Beach. Today we have a mission, a task at hand, if you will. We're gonna try to find the most expensive thing in this shop, the most expensive piece of tchotchke statue thing that we can find and let you know what it is and how much it is. And at the same time, let's, let's go to the other side of the spectrum and find the most, the cheapest souvenir that we can find in this shop cheapest thing that you can bring home on a budget so we're gonna look at the most expensive and the most least expensive all at the same time before I step in to the gay dolphin I just had to pop in here because I saw this shirt and I thought it was hilarious would you wear this remember gay dolphin you need to wear a mask All sorts of postcards. We've got Skywheel, we've got old school, we got big postcards. Look at the size of this postcard. That's giant. Some old school gay dolphin going on right there. So these are 35 cents for regulars and 50 cents for the, I assume this is the vintage. It's a vintage, vintage picture, but not a vintage card. Let's move down here. So I think these are what they're classifying as vintage. You can tell they're a little oxidized, a little uh, colored out. North Myrtle Beach. Portrait view. Um, random tree. Hey guys, I got this postcard. Remember when I went to that random tree and I got you a postcard? I have no idea where this is supposed to be. This is actually <laughs> a postcard from New York. So this one don't count. Here's a postcard from the Pink House. You might remember we did a time travel uh, recently and we went to the Pink House and looked inside of it. So, pretty cool. All right, throughout the store there's several levels. There's all sorts of statues and things like that that are bonkers crazy. So, this one here is a whopping $300. $300. So, let's keep that one in mind as we continue. Look at the size of those hermit crabs. These things are monsters. It's like Godzilla. Okay, moving on. Zoltar. Zoltar, do you know the most expensive item in this shop? Okay, quiet type. I got it. All right, fine. Don't want to talk to me. I get it. We'll continue our journey. He won't tell me what the most expensive item is. Maybe he'll tell me what this weird little window is. Right here. Underneath that pretty cool fish painting. I don't know what this is. It's kind of creeping me out. All right, moving on. Here's the bargain alley. Not gonna find the most expensive thing in the bargain alley. Do you think that shark is for sale? How would you like to hang that thing in your living room? Look, he's so big, his fin sticks through the ceiling. All right, sir, how much are you? You are a big statue, so I assume you're not cheap. You are missing your hook, so we can't call you Captain Hook. Captain Dome. I don't know. All right, we have a sticker down here. $2,000, $2,000 for this gentleman missing his hook. What do you think, is that a deal? Should get a discount, he's missing a hook and he's missing a leg, leg discount. All right, $2,000. Okay, we're not at the Outer Banks. Where are we from Myrtle Beach? So we have a selection of items here that may be candidates for the most inexpensive <laughs> souvenir. So let's let's take a look. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Coconut monkey? I don't think this is gonna be the cheapest, but I gotta know how much these coconuts are. Eight dollars for coconut football. Here we go, here we go, here we go. How much is this? Two for five cents. Two for five cents, what are they? They're like little snail shells? Pearl tops. Pearl tops, two for, two, 2.5 cents for these. So there you go. The most inexpensive, cheapest souvenir at the Gay Dolphin. 2.5 cents, I don't think you can beat that. That's just not gonna happen. But it's also a souvenir 
for ants. There's gotta be something else that's extremely cheap, like these urchin shells. I have one of these in my fish tank at home, so it's kind of creepy to have uh, to play with its skeleton. On the other side of that shelf that had the 2.5 cent shells, there's a lot of really unique, inexpensive shells that... Little, little urchin ones. These little baby urchin shells. That's so cool. Uh, those almost look like a banana stripe. They look like assassin snail shells. Um, anyway. You might not want to buy one of these as a souvenir, but heck, you can make a necklace out of all these really cool shells, which is some thread, and have your own special souvenir that you made yourself from these shells. Anyway, it's an idea, especially for the kids. It would be a good project. You're like, here, you have $5. You get as yeah. much shells as you want for $5. Exactly. You get some thread. You give the kids 5 bucks. They pick out their shells. They make a necklace. Or a decorative jar. Put some sand in it. There you go, exactly. Those are the kind of souvenirs that really mean something, in my opinion. Okay, so that's the cheapest. We need to find the most expensive. So far, on our expensive journey, this, this, this sir, this pirate, what are we gonna name him? We gotta name him something. Uh, Pete, Pete the Pirate. Pete the Pirate's $2,000. So we need to find something more expensive than Pete the Pirate. Pete the Pirate has a friend over here. We're gonna call this guy, uh, Harry. Harry the pirate, there you go. Harry the pirate has seen better days. He's also missing his hook. I assume that uh, people are coming in here, grabbing at the hook, taking pictures with, with Harry the pirate. Um, so, before I check the price tag, really quick, think to yourself, how much you think this guy is? If Pete the pirate's 2,000, how much is Harry the pirate? Let's look. Price tag's on his butt. No, it's on his booty, get it? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> down his boot his booty three thousand dollars oh and there's another one here three thousand dollars on that one as well three thousand dollars would you pay three thousand dollars for harry the pirate is that a realistic price or do they just slap that on there so no one buys it and he stays as a staple in the store as decoration i don't know he does have a lot of weapons though this guy's ready for battle he can only use one at a time, since he only has one hand. Alright, Harry the Pirate, you are the most expensive item so far. Let's continue. Pete's sad over there. He used to be on the top of the list. Not anymore. I feel bad for Pete. See, here's, here's the debacle with the gay dolphin. When do you ever go down the stairs or up the stairs? This place is a horizontal and vertical maze of sorts. Intermission. This might not be the cheapest or the most expensive thing in this shop, but for three dollars, these are some kind of cool wind chimes. I mean, super inexpensive and really cool looking, so something to keep in mind if you're on a budget. Another inexpensive wind chime, four dollars. Okay. Ninety dollar shark teeth. Wait, dear. More stairs. Oof. Hey, there's the postcards over there. Remember those? Okay, up the stairs. Over here, up another stair. Hey, it's another pirate. So we got Pete, we got Harry, Joe. Joe the pirate. Okay, he automatically wins because he's got both he's hands. $300. $300? And holds wine bottles and has both hands. This guy is a uh, total package, and he's only $300. Not the most expensive, oh, wait, wait. I spoke too soon, he's missing a leg. All right, you're not the total package. Sorry, Joe. That ship's $400, that's still pricey. Maybe not the most expensive stuff in the store, but I kind of dig the uh, decor up here. 900 for this Navy diving helmet, that's cool. We got statues, nothing that's gonna beat 3,000 though. Uh, Model ships, model pirate ship. $300 for the model pirate ship. What else we got going on over here? Anything expensive? A lot of model ships. Okay, let's look at this one here. That looks pricey. That's 400 for this one with the quote on it. So these are three, $400 for these large model ships. Nothing that's gonna compete with Harry the Pirate. So our sailor man 
Sailor Men, plural. These are 300 a piece for this lamp. That's that's not too bad. They're about what, four and a half feet tall total. $300. Also, there's the uh, old lookout tower. We're on the, what floor is this? Floor 3.5 maybe? I don't know, I lose track when I'm in this shop. I don't know what floor we're on. There's the main door that we came in at the very beginning. So you can walk on some of this uh, viewing deck. They closed off, please do not enter. They closed off the top. You used to, years ago, be able to go all the way up there. Not anymore. So let's, let's go this way. And if you're afraid of heights, this might bother you because this walkway does not feel 100% safe in my opinion. And how, do you, how dirty do you think that water is? Uh, I'd say out of, out of 10, probably. 10 being the dirtiest? 10 being the dirtiest is probably a filthy 0.5. And I'm just <laughs> falling. Oh gosh. You might get superpowers if you fall in that water. I don't know, it's not that bad. I mean, you can see through it, it's not like it's murky. All right, so this walkway can take us all the way down to the bottom, all the way down to the clean fountain water. The fountain's not running right now, I wonder why. It's never running. Is it? I could have sworn, I could have sworn this thing runs, maybe not. I don't think so, I think step. And here we are on the bottom floor. All right, our buddy here, that's uh, taken out this uh, this winged foe. It's missing an arm. Also, I can't read this sticker. I don't think the focus is going to bring it in. Can you read that? I can't read that. Anyway, it looks expensive. It's probably not three thousand expensive. There's a lot of expensive things in here. We've got a blind justice statue. $300. Here's a smaller version of the big statue that's missing its arm. The most critical piece, the hand with the sword. How many people are looking at that statue and Metallica plays in their head? He's giving me the look. Is this a llama? Like, really? Like a llama? All right, I haven't looked at the sticker yet. I'm just gonna guess. 300 because so many things in here are $300. Ooh, 2000 $2,000 for a llama. Oh my gosh. Okay, so $2,000 for a llama. Some items have hidden parts. Oh, look at this, like, uh, steampunk stuff. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm digging the, the steampunk uh, section over here. Look at that fish. Robot fish. What's, what's some expensive stuff in this? I don't know about expensive, but that's pretty cool. The last unicorn. $30? $30 for that chalice. Yeah, if you're into that sort of thing, it's neat. All right, this this uh, laser gun I'm super curious about, but the sticker has been removed from it. Gives me like a, uh, a steampunk or fallout kind of feel. Oh, check out the octopus. That is pretty cool. No price? I don't see any prices. So they really expect you to get an employee every time you want to know how much something is? I suppose so. The clock, oh, those clocks are really cool. I kind of want one. No price it, though. It's got the uh, squid on the top and then like the porthole look. It's something like you'd see on the Nautilus. Like Captain Nemo would have that hanging on his wall. Just a, a random thing that we noticed that I thought was kind of cool. These shelving units According to the sticker, we're made in Merle's Inlet. So, locally sourced shelving equipment. Alright, we have another statue over here. These are, these are usually 3,000 for our chief. What are we going to name him? Chief? Chief Chester? Chester Chief? 3,000, so Chester the Chief is on par with, was it Harry the Pirate? So $3,000 for a statue is right now our most expensive item. How about the uh, totem pole? 400 for the totem pole, that's, that's cool. 
Another statue over here. Another totem pole. Got some warriors. And a dead end. I can't fit through there. So I gotta turn around. I am the medicine man. I am wise, like the wise old owl. I will impart my wisdom upon you if you come closer, closer. Don't be afraid of my spirit energy. I can't get much closer, medicine man, the glass is in my way. One thing about this specific level of the gay dolphin, there is no shortage of fairies. Okay, okay Elvi, I know you're not cheap, but are you as expensive as Harry or Chester? Let's see here. That is $2,000. So these blue suede shoes are less than Chester and Harry the pirate. And he's got both hands. And he's got both hands, yeah. He's, he is the total package. He's got the whole microphone, both hands, both feet, but does he have any weapons? I don't know, if you ask a parent from uh, Elvis's time, you could say his hips were weapons. So digging around. Oh, I was gonna say, I think we found the most expensive thing, but this pharaoh with a dish. What would you put in that dish? Is this like a candy dish? Is this an ashtray? I don't know. You can't read that. I can't read it. Being Egyptian, he is very old. And his sandals are, uh, it looks like one or two sizes too big. You need to get yourself some new sandals, pharaoh. Oh, we got another one over here. No sticker on this guy. Also, sandals one size too, too large. I don't know which one, theoretically, which one would I rather get? The Pharaoh or I don't know what this guy's called. I think I'd go with this guy. And here's my, my thought process behind it. In the middle of the night, if I got up to get a drink and this guy was in the corner of the room looking at me, I'd freak out. This guy, not so much. Because he's just like a... Pooch, like, a, oh like your buddy lapdog, you know just muscular and yes. able to no kick somebody's butt. Thousand dollars, that mermaid could be yours. All right, so I think we're concluding our most expensive and cheapest excursion for today anyway. There's no way of looking at every single item in here. So if you've visited before and you've seen something that's more more expensive than three thousand dollars let me know maybe i'll hunt it down maybe it's still in here Ooh, the waves are very rough today very very rough as you can see a lot more items so maybe we'll have a round two of this excursion to try to find something else in the meantime Everybody, stay safe, be good, and take it easy.